Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Magic Craft run, the action combat roguelike where you create your own spells and break the game. I'm gonna go with the one, let's do the run right away. We're gonna go in hard mode obviously and let's hope to find, I would say a pet build. We haven't done a pet build like ever, so maybe that's gonna be a thing today. Maybe. Although the pet build needs, uh, would be better with a pet summoner. What is volley? Okay, we're gonna go with volley. So we shoot three of these, but they cost less for each one in the line. So it's just a shotgun build now. Money against spells, we're gonna go spells so we can maybe get a run going. Although I think the best thing you can do early game is go money and then just go to the shop and buy keys. So maybe I should go to the keys. Somebody explain to me why it's better to go key uh, spells instead of going for shopping, money and shopping. And the explanation is very simple. Money gives you on average about 20, while uh, the spells in the shop cost about I would say 5 for the commons and 15 for the rares. So you get almost one and a half spell. Uh, and you will also need two rooms to get through. While the spell room is one room. And the room efficiency is actually more important than the other thing I said. So we got a rare here. Which is um, charge up and then hold to shoot up to six times. And then split the shots after the shot. We're going to go here and here. What is the curse? A bomb will appear besides you from time to time. I'm not sure that's worth it. Uh, let's go relics for sure. And let's actually equip these over salvo. So that would be like... And then boom. Bram. Let's go like that. Let's go into relics. And bram. <laughs> the sound effects are pretty important. Without the sound effects, it's not the same experience. Also, I can click, by the way. I'm not forced to specifically use the charge thing. The charge is just a little bit of a bonus. To shotgun opponents faster. Shotgun. Missed them. Shotgun. Easy enough. Charging up my laser, do, 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 and I'm ready. Fire, easy enough. Your toast and your toast. Very nice. I do enjoy this. We have a decently good thing going on here. I don't have keys though. That's about the choice. Our crits is better. Opponent, you can see opponent's life or deal damage to anybody. Let's go with crits are better. I don't have keys for that. We can't go in there. Maybe this is gonna be keys. Nope, that's money. And we're gonna go max life. Would prefer money. For spells. I would like to not go max life this run if possible. Although max life helps you with being able to buy double deals, which is pretty important. I would like to have this. I would like to repeat the meteor build I had, other than of course the fact that I want to get pets as I mentioned already. But the meteor build, now that I got the charge attack, this really it would be nice. And I'm gonna go shop to buy the keys as I mentioned. So we got one key for four, split shots and whatnot. I think this is wait a minute, charge 20 points. For any damage dealt up 45 with this wand. So final damage 20%. This is a good wand. 12 mana region, this is 10. This is in general a good wand, but I don't want to pay 16 for one right now. I don't want to buy any of these either. I would just want dice and maybe specific upgrades. What is this? Rebel. Scatter minus 360. What does that mean? Spells are always cast in reverse. It shoots it behind, but it has a good cooldown and it also has a... So you're running. This is a nice thing in general. I don't want any of these either. I found the rare one here, chance to do additional explosion and lightning. Uh, these are pretty expensive, let's roll. The pricing was correct for whoever told me the pricing. Uh, Arcane Explosion plus this thing is very powerful in general. This is tracking shots. All Salvo 5, Symphony. It shoots everything and it chases opponents down, that's the idea there. Mm, I could get an Arcane Explosion to put it here at the end to have a very powerful early game build. I could do that, or I can just get a lightning, it's a rare. Nah, let's do this. This is a very powerful early game. So right now I'm a little, and then boom. And whatever gets hit dies. Let's go with Spellforge. Let's combo my orb already. It's more powerful and off to the next one. I would like to reroll this though. Yeah, let's reroll this. Chance to cast a spell on another one. That, that's useful in general to have. Let's go. No, no, no. I should have broken everything in there. That was money. Half-life already. Uh, charging up. One more shot. I missed. I won. Wow. Destroyed him. I lost a bunch of money in the previous room, but we do a lot of damage right now. A lot of damage. And one is either going to be scatter plus, but scatter minus and crit chance. 12 mana regen. Or the same thing, but MP cost less, final damage less, but the forced poison. Uh, less MP cost in, in case for mana is good, I think. I'm going to take this. And uh, let's rotate over to that wand. I have a cheaper one to cast with. And it's it's the exact same thing, plus poison now. Let's go. 
power up and dead power up dead oh you survived okay powering up oh you're sleeping explosions that guy survived no it didn't same enemies stay away from me whoop boom whoop boom nice got him more snakes more snakes a lot of snakes today charging up shoot it in there what is this potion i need to learn the potions can shield equal to the amount of lost HP? Up to 50. This got nerfed. This got nerfed. This used to be straight up get a shield. Oh, no. It used to be... Oh, no, 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 no. There was a temporary shield equal to lost HP. And I guess this is permanent shield equal to lost HP. Maybe it did not get nerfed. I take it back. Okay, we got a summon, which I want to do as a build. And then I also got ghost flames. Or water gun. I hate water gun. Let's go ghost flames. Uh, what would this look like? Whoa, boom. Okay, looks pretty boring. I'm gonna go over to explosions again. And now I'm gonna also randomly cast... That's... Oh, boom! Okay, that was a lot of knockback. Also, some explode behind me. Charging up. Let's go again. Oh, fired! Most, most survived. But they also all died. And I got my first tentacle spawning. Nice. Let's see what I get. I remotely control the wand, but lose radius and pure AoE. Uh, if I wanted this, I could have started with this build in the first place. I don't really want this. I would like to do a meteor build, though. Man, max mana is nice. I would say let's go max mana, especially with the charging idea. Having a lot of max mana with charging is good. Now I can charge more, pretty much. Yeah, look at the chain of explosions that's happening. Explode them. These are poison boys as far as I know. That's why they're super durable. And they just hit one of my tentacles instead of us. That's nice. Do these move? Or are we moving them? Well, that's relevant. We got money anyway. And I got a key so I can open this one up. I think this is better always. Now one can only hope that this is not going to give us a cursed room. Anything other than cursed room, man. Yes. Okay, this is you're supposed to find the, the order. The last time it was this one first. Okay, that's good to know. Stay away. And then we go here. It's this one then. Maybe there is some kind of indication as to what I'm supposed to do. Does this have one pip and this two pips? Is that a thing? Nope. So this is guaranteed first. And this is guaranteed not second. One and two. Man, I'm I'm gonna min-max all the mistakes. Literally. And I'm gonna do this and this and a mistake again. Boom, boom, and a mistake. Yeah, I literally went through everything. This is brute force by definition. At least I didn't get hit once. Did it, boys. We did it. And I got a volley enhanced, actually. Plus three salvo for every one additional slotable spell. The MP cost is even less. Okay. I don't have keys. I'm gonna go spells, I would say, over max life. Charging up my explosions. Whoop, boom. Whoop, boom. I don't need to fully charge this. That guy can spawn pets. Spawns within spawns, you know. Oh, there was a king there. I need to get rid of the king as fast as possible. I don't want to deal with summons. Okay, got it. Nice. And we won. Man, I do enjoy this a lot. Like, I do enjoy this specific. The charging mode is awesome. Passive. Summon. Get the summon. And cooldown. I don't really care about this. I'm going to go with energy receiver. I'm going to have another summon here. And which is castable on its own. Not going to make those cheaper. Pop there. Nice. We got everything. Relic, obviously. Let's see what I can get. Explosions. And explosions. Just everything died. That's a poison spider. That's why it's alive. Hey, we got Mr. Key. Let's get the relic. And damage is nice. I mean, it's a lot of damage. Straight up terms of damage. Petrify yourself and immune to all damage for 60 seconds. Move to remove the status effect. Okay, that's obviously for a pet build. If I can get the thing that says if you don't move, let's go with relics. If I can get a thing, uh, one that says you cast things when you don't move, especially if the things are summons, which I can put in there anyway. Let's open this up and lose life. It gave us life anyway. Haha. -ha. Always open the damage chests up, man. I like this enemy like a lot. I like this summon a lot. Okay, let's go. Uh, 5 health every time you go through a door, or max health and max mana every time you drink a potion. I'm gonna go here. I will drink a bunch of potions. We already got a couple. 
Max life against... Uh, we're gonna go here. Let's go shopping. I wanna get keys. One key is done. Another... And also we got a poison. What is this? Charge 3D points whenever you take damage. So if I take damage, I just use the lightning dash, which I'm forced to use. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, do I want to reroll these? This is tracking shots. We all know how awesome tracking shots are. But... Are they with the meteors? I did try that build and I die. Um, with the meteors, they're actually super awesome. Right? Tracking shot plus meteors. Why have I stuck to meteors? I, I'm not sure why I'm stuck to meteors. Let's roll these. Okay, we found the keys. Boom and boom. Nice. That's why we have the money. And this is final damage less. MP cost is less. Shaman dagger. So it's a snake wand. Uh, I guess this attacking very often would summon stuff. Could do a resonant moon build. Let's roll these. You know what? I found targeting again. And I found the shaman stuff again. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna get the targeting. Targeting is good. And uh, might as well put it here. Is it gonna help in any way, shape, or form? I don't think so. But still. Uh, still, still, still. I could go shaman dagger plus this whole thing I'm trying to create here. Less mana cost and whatnot. Over the poison. This is also less mana cost and less final damage. That's the same. This has at least mana regen. Nah, this is not worth it. I can roll again. Yeah, I meta progressed. What is this? If you do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's actually this time remember breaking everything for money. Because I forgot the last time. Uh, a snack for nine. I mean, now that I have tracking shots, right? Uh, now that I have tracking shots, I can use the snacks in a good way. Let's take snacks. Maybe a snack build is a play. Maybe I should have gone with the shaman stuff. Let's see what other stuff I can get. Tree color scepter. Spells maybe dies. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was this look like? Plus this. These are tracking snakes, so they should be doing a lot. Okay, the DPS is 300 in the frontliner. So let's try again the thing I had previously. Ah, uh, almost the same. What do the snakes do here? Yeah, this is a lot worse. But this is not a lot worse. This is actually pretty good. We're gonna go snacks for the time being. Let's go snacks. I can switch builds anyway. I'm not forced into sticking to one thing. And I think snacks are better in boss fights anyway. So let's try this. Chaotic wreckage. Let's go. Snacks go. Whoop. Okay, me being able to see the opponent is not a thing. If I don't get hit here, he is already dead, by the way. And he's already dead. Wow, you do a lot of damage. You do a lot of damage this early. And the wand is going to be... Three stringed loot. That's a full salvo wand. That's it. Reduce discriminate damage dealt by this wand to you by 2-1%. And it has a booby trap in it, which I can make into a meteor. And then this is the meteor build. But this here has 14 mana regen. It fits a bit better to what I'm already doing. It has a good, a big cooldown though. This does not. Uh, I would like to do the meteor build, man. But yeah, I think this is better. Let's go with I think this is better wand. This has a bad mana regen, 14. No. We're gonna transfer all of these over. Go here. And now because this has full salvo, I can also have more things on this. Right, it's gonna shoot all of them anyway. Oh, it spends a lot of mana though. Yeah, I think that's not that worth it. I could do another full salvo though. And it could make it cheaper. Okay, it's not that expensive. Yeah, I can try this. It's not expensive at all actually. Let's try that. Although it doesn't seem awesome, but let's try it. All ones get plus one slot, that's godlike. 50 health for that is good. You are airborne, that's decent. And you always find which works. I'm gonna go all ones have plus one slot. And uh, now I can do something like this. And now this is super expensive. Is it super expensive? No, it's not really. Yeah, seems pretty cheap to me. This is a full salvo wand on itself, and this is not a full salvo. So I'm going like maybe full salvo build. Do just a bunch of things all the time. Uh, in the same vein, can I not do this? And get a bunch of summons? I think this seems better. 
Is it better though? Do these do enough damage to be worth it? They do 11, they say. Let's try this. Who knows? Who knows? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Off we go. Let's try this. Okay. And now, supposedly, these very quickly start racking up damage. Supposedly. Yep, they do. They do rack up damage pretty fast. Uh, if I had crazy mana... You know what I'm thinking here? I'm thinking I shouldn't even be using these. Because they spend more mana than they do. I should be using the less mana cost. And the salvo thing should go on the other wand. So... The... Salvo... No, I think we're good. I'm thinking I want to be spawning Mr. Key's heads. And this should be as cheap as possible, so I can cast that often. This feels more expensive, though. I need to count how many shots I can take back to back with the full salvo idea and without. So, let's try this for a moment. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is how many I can shoot here. If I do the full salvo, and I'll also put something cheap in this. 4.2. 3.5, 3.5. Now let's see if I can shoot 8 and uh, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You see? Cheaper. Can I make it even cheaper by putting another one? The cheap ones though. Wait for it. I think it cost 4.6. This way, 5.4. This way, 3.5. Ah, this is the cheapest, obviously. 0.5. 3.5. Now I'm gonna go with the flames. I think we're good here. And this can spawn whatever it wants. Uh, yeah, let's go. I would say new spells. Over rolling. Whoop, just spawn, spawns. Just spawn, spawns. Whoop. Avoid as much as I can. And now I have all my pets. And they're gonna start amassing damage to the opponents. Whoop, Tentacle Armada! Yep, look how fast everything dies. Uh, water Gun useless, that's a rare I would like to reroll and damage. It's gonna rare and damage. And the damage obviously goes into... 1.111. If I throw this out, 1.914. Okay.
let's go on. The salvo isn't really helping, right? 25. No, oh, that's not the salvo. 25. 32. It does help. That's good. Let's go. I'm trying to just make everything super cheap. Fire. Boom. Tentacles fire. Tentacles go. I'm just spawning tentacles. That's my build. That's it. Oh, we lost most of them. And I got hit very heavily there. I'm not sure this is worth it. This double spawning. Let's go back to what we had. Yeah, I think this is better. Over what? Over nothing. This is straight up better. More relic options. Money is power. I'm gonna go more relic options. Pop those. I guess I need to have some kind of spell ready. Uh, Spellbook 3 is gonna be that. Where I can just go arcane explosions and just clear the room. Because money is in boxes in this game. Let's go. Rotate back to book 1. Let's go relics, obviously. Powering up and fire. Boom. Powering up and fire. Boom. And that should kill any opponent that exists here. Powering up and fire. I'm gonna continue with that idea. Just spawn more and more tentacles. They seem to be global anyway. So opponents are definitely dying very fast. Max mana, that's nice. All damage plus 10 for each curse you have. No, let's go with max mana up. No longer slowed when casting spells. Might be good. Let's continue with these. And we found a, a door. Hopefully that's gonna give us what we want. Which is specifically a relic. An epic. An epic spell is what I want. Let's go into this. And uh, we got the quest to color these. All of them are wrong. fully colored. Red is ready. Blue is not ready. Yellow is not ready. Blue is not ready. That red is ready. Yellow and yellow and yellow. Nice. And we got... Yep, they release the things on the right. Pretty useless, but also not really that bad. Charging up. Fire. Oh, that's the wrong one. Charging up. Fire my pets. Charging up. Fire more pets. And I'm just gonna wait for the mana regen to kick in. Charging up. Fire more pets. Charging up. Fire more pets. Easy enough. I would like to get some pet buffs. Max life. Force on us. Nothing to break. Maybe that down there. I think it's just a break anyway. Yeah, I don't think we can break anything here. Yeah, let's go. Even more money forced. Charging and fire. Charging and fire. I would like to get an upgrade on my poison rate. That's gonna help us, obviously. Whoop. And what else would I like? I could also make these guys summon things. Let's see what we get. How much we get, actually. What we get is relevant. Boss time. Elite time. Let's see how good my build is against elites. Suppose it should theoretically be really good. But you never know what practically happens. Oh, yep, it starts kicking in. The goodness is visible. Shotgun this guy again. And we won. Easy enough. Easy enough. This is a very busted build, man. Now I just want to get stuff that makes my summons even better. A summon buff. Go on. Rare. Leveled up common or rare. Uh, I would say this for medium. <laughs> I would say leveled up common. So that I can maybe get a pet buff. Because the pet buffs are in common. And I'm gonna say thunder core better than the exploding. Which is indiscriminate damage. And uh, yeah, you can go here for a range attack. Now I actually have a range attack. Very nice. Yeah, it's this thing. Although, obviously, the better version would be this thing. Yep. And also do electricity. Yep. And actually, actually. What would this look like? Da 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 at least the final explosion always happens. Although I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> we should just go like this. Nice. So we continue with spawning a bunch of stuff and then rotate back to one through two at this point. And let's go. Whoop. Spawn. Whoop. Spawn. Boom. And now we just wait. Because those guys reflect stuff and I really don't want to be close to that when they reflect my spells. Boom. 
And boom. This map I'm seeing for the first time, by the way. I've never seen this map before. Let's go with shooting my projectiles. Charge up my summons. Charge up my summons. And go explode the shots. Nope, oh, I got hit for no reason. Nice, and we won. Does this summon my own pets against me? No, it didn't. Three mana, that's nice. And some connect things with your summons. That's definitely nice. So, mana region, yes, and summon connected, yes. So, summons connected should be in this line. Let's say my summons don't do poison anymore. What does this look like? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, here we go. And this does how much damage? 24 damage each. Again, a random chest. Gain shield. Petrify. Uh, get the random chest right now. And hopefully no curse. It's a curse. It's useless. Maximum HP minus 10. It's not that heavy of a curse. Yeah, it's not that heavy of a curse. I got a key for that. Nice. Relic for sure. Rup, boom. Rup, boom. Up, boom. I'm thinking I should always have tentacles behind me. And actually all over the place. The tentacles should be in the corners. That's what I'm thinking here. The lack of poison is very bad, obviously. But as long as I have tentacles all over the place... Avoid. Uh, avoid. And we won. I want to go back to poison. Heal every door, that's nice. Get a potion when you drink a potion. I already have the thing that gives us life on potions. Chance to get a potion with potions is nice. Let's go with chance to get a potions with potions. I never had that before either. Let's do 10 life for the curse. Petrify, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm thinking if I should stick to the poison, man. MP cost 60%. On 10 mana. 16 mana. 16 mana. Yeah, and then I'm like, go poison and mana region. That's what I'm thinking here. Right, and then these lines are also poisonous. Make sure the poison is on the very first one. I think this is better, and having more mana region is also gonna help us more. So I can shoot more of these out. Uh, the rest are irrelevant, I think. Let's go. Uh, spells for sure. For sure spells, or actually hell, no spells for sure. Let's go. Fire. Yeah, obviously we have the lines protecting us. Let's get more lines protecting us. I'm just setting up lines everywhere so we have the defense. Yep, you guys are not gonna survive the line attack. Yep, nope. No, 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 no. Set up lines everywhere. Protect myself from everywhere. Yep. And most of the opponents also try to go towards my... things. Oh, we got an, a, a range. Which is useless for us. I'm not gonna play with range. A laser beam rare, which I can reroll, and a, a, a pet. A pet is a guaranteed yes, I think. And this is also a yes. So we go here and here. And I would say, instead of spawning snacks from the books, spawn pets from the books. So the books are not gonna start spawning pets. Mr. Key, by the way, is just existing over here and has never joined us. Yeah, this was a good chance for one of those reroll, uh, open everything in the shop zone. Anyway, we're gonna open this up. What is this? This is the first time I'm seeing this. As far as I know, you just go close and you know. But that's not it. YOLO it. No way, I'm gonna lose so much life here. Oh, I can shoot through this? Wait. Yeah, I can spawn stuff on them. What is this? Because I spawn stuff there. And is this one too? Good thing I have summons, man. That's true. It's the bottom. Nice. Haha, <laughs> abused it completely. Meteor Plus! Yes, that's exactly what I wanted previously. And 3 damage. Launches two small meteorites, dealing discriminate damage. Okay, obviously we're gonna not use this because it's gonna kill us. But, just to be clear, first of all I can use this with this. Yep. That's a lot better. Uh, I don't want this to poison though. <laughs> Poison is already indiscriminate damage. This is awesome in general. Let's put AoE on this. Well, we're gonna stick to the pets we have going on. 
And this is gonna be as it was. And uh, yeah, let's go. Spell side. You know what? I think a 78 max life is not that safe. Spells though. <laughs> charging up, get my pets up. Charging up, get more pets. Charging up, more pets over there. More pets down here. Start attacking. Get more pets over there maybe. And maybe up there. I'm safe. I'm safe. Get more pets. Get more pets everywhere. Continue attacking. Uh, I can get up there. Let's go like this, and then like this. Easy enough. And it's a money chest, plus a bit of health at the end. My, was this not a max life room? Nope, it was a spell room. Max mana, laser beam, or pillars of light. I don't care about pillars of light, let's go these two. <laughs> I'm never gonna do a pillars of light build. Money. Charging up my laser, boom. Charging up another one, boom. And now I have pets everywhere. Yeah, opponents, you can try to do whatever you want to do. But that's gonna be irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Set up more pets, set up more pets. Man, the boss are should be very easy. I, actually, everything should be very easy. Look how many lines this thing has. Let's see what we get. And I also have a super room on the left. And here I would like to go to the shop because I run out of keys, but it's okay. Please do not give me Chris chests. Nice. What is this? Is this the same with previously? This is the same with previously. Am I supposed to do this with actually no visual? I'm supposed to actually do this without the visuals. Is this true? Can I light? Ah, I can light things up with explosions. Can I light things up with meteorites? Yes, I can light things up with meteorites, but you know what I can also do with meteorites? Poison the ground. Uh, okay, let's go here, here, and here. You know what? I don't need to do this whole maneuver. Uh, I can just do this and take this away for a moment and go with one number three. Okay. Meteors. Oh, you know what meteors do, by the way? They destroy the traps. So, yeah. Oh. Was that a thing from the beginning? Can I destroy these traps? I guess not. I'm supposed to go there and stay there. Yep, here we stay. And I'm supposed to run up. No. I'm supposed to run up and go like that. And now I'm gonna left and down. Okay, light room again. Hey look, dead. Hey look, dead. <laughs> okay, we just zigzag through this. Boom. And uh, yeah, that's it actually. So we just go over here, stay to the top, backwards track a bit and run through. And that's it. And we got what for all of that? A key. A key in life. Oh, and a passive spell. So that's gonna now start casting passively. Attached one will fight for you, but it has the spanner region. This down here is the books. Do I need the books at someone's stuff? I can have this at someone's stuffs. Yeah, it, it's gonna have less mana region, but it's gonna always function. Straight up, and then tracking shots on my pop. So the resonance is useless. That means resonance should go here. So you go away. Uh, lightning goes away for a moment. We go resonance, so this might shoot once in a while. And it shoots those things that shoot arcane explosions. AoE or exploding lightning? I would say AoE. And this down here can have the exploding lightning, so these boys get exploding lightning. Nice. So now I shoot this, that shoots that, and this shoots those. So whenever I shoot, I have a chance to shoot out the exploder thing. Nice. If it happens, it happens. Otherwise, I can just control it myself and shoot at it. I think that's good. Although, now that I'm thinking about this, you know what I should do? I should make this be super duper expensive. Right? Like, it should have this thing going on. Yeah, so when I shoot with this... And whenever it triggers, it shoots that madness out. Yeah, that's the play. Because I'm gonna be stuck in this wand anyway. Uh, let's go relics. I think mana fully heals at the start of each room. Yes, it does. You see, it just fired there. Summon all my pets. And don't go close to anything. I'm super safe here. 
Why are my madness pets? Hey look, opponents all over the place. I don't care about it. Hey look, it's a ghost trying to come closer. Nope. Nope, it's not. We're getting more pets going spawning. Go my little pets. Go my little pets. You know what I haven't had in a while? Mr. Key Key. Mr. Key is missing this whole time. It's okay though, we're gonna get another Mr. Key. Are we done yet? Yep. Let's see what the relic is. Bugs life, what not. Uh, this is good. Immune to spikes on the ground and venom. 11% uh, chance is done. This is really good for the late game. So we're gonna take this for the future. For the final zone specifically. Uh, off into money, I would say. Mm, fire. Mm, fire. Okay, we got all our pets set up. Yep, the wall of pets actually, which protects us from a lot of things. Nope, you're not gonna hit me. This wall of pets protects us from opponents, and it also protects us from uh, projectiles because opponents might hit the, my pet itself. Let's see how much money we gain. Nice. Let's go relics, obviously. Fire! Fire over there, too. Fire over there, too. I think we're pretty safe here. We have enough lasers all over the place. Oh, I got hit. But 10 damage. That's a lot of damage I took there. I would like to get more pet buffs, by the way. Survive. Nice. This one has mana issues. So what we get. Damage based on missing life. Gain 15 points of temporary shield when enter room. That's actually very safe. This is also really, really, really good. This is a lot of health. This is powerful in general. I want this. I'm going with damage over survivability most of the time. Which isn't always a good choice. Use a key for this. It did not have a key within the key, so we are out of keys. Which is pretty sad, but it's also okay. So this boss, theoretically, is going to be the cube. I'm in a lava dome. It's either going to be the cube, or it's going to be the sack, the spider sack. I hope it's the spider sack, because that's a lot easier. Yep, it's the cage. Fire. Fire. Laser beam. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. Fire. Fire again. It's eating through all my pets. And it's dead. And it's dead. And I'm gonna go over here. Wait, are my pets not poisonous? No, they are. Oh, come on, man. It literally flipped through me. Whoa, it killed everything. The fact that it rushed through me is so sad for me. Laser beam is gonna kill everything. I got hit twice for 10 damage. Okay, we're gonna just stick here and go closer. Fire again. I'm trying to somehow protect my pets. Not that it's possible. Uh, with this maneuver, maybe it's possible. Needs to do specifically that attack. And it did the attack that's gonna kill all my pets. Let's go again then. Whoa! Whoa, I'm, I'm at 11 life. Very nice. I should have died there. Do you know why I survived? Because I had 15 shielding. Which I didn't actually take. Well, I don't know why I survived. <laughs> when standing still, you do stuff. That's actually really good for us because I am standing still. Because I am a summoner build. 35 points of mana every time, as long as you stand still. This is really, 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 really good for us. And this is... Uh, you control lightning on the ground. Good mana regen. Also good spell casting. This is in general good. We're going here. So, I want something to be happening on its own while I'm not moving. How yep, often does this fire? Okay, this instantly has my issues with this. Uh, I would prefer the explosions though. Actually, what does this look like? Uh, just a bunch of random lasers. This. A bunch of random snacks. I would like this... Uh, how, how does this work with twice? And also with a salvo, so it's cheaper. And uh, maybe with a laser beam. So it's even cheaper. Maybe we even are explosions, so it's even, even cheaper. This is actually free right now. Oh no, the wand has issues, it's not free. 
Uh, this is working out though. A lot of AoE all over the place. Uh, we still have free pets. We still have this aspect going on. Uh, might as well have Mr. Key here. Right. And... I guess that's it. What's the AoE for? I could go with splits. Instead of this, go with splits. Is this more expensive? Well, it's definitely less crazy. Let's go with super craziness. You know what I could do? I could do this goes here and this goes here. Doesn't this make it so that these shoot snakes and the snakes shoot arcane? I guess it, that's not what it does. Maybe if I do it like this. Look at all the laser beams appearing. At the end of these. <laughs> this is super stupid. What would this look like? Nope. Can I switch these, please? Yeah, the mana is an issue, though. I do enjoy this, though. Throw this out. Throw this out, too. You see this? This is insane. This is not needed. This is not needed, either. I guess split plus arcane. It became a lot more expensive. Plus next. Also very expensive. And then when the snacks hit, uh, they go out and do this. That was very fast. And then those do explosions. This is e even less of happening. Previously wasn't even happening. This is... Does this heal mana ever? I guess it's exploding right now. Let's see this again. Yeah, mana is never gonna be a thing with this wand. <laughs> Uh, okay, I would like to do the laser beams. The flat-out laser beams. Uh, so that means this. It's a free damage thing. Otherwise, I can also spawn pets, by the way. But I, I can spawn pets from the... the wand. Yeah, this is nice. Laser beams. And... I guess max man on this thing. And I would like the laser beams to be popping into arcane explosions. Yeah, I think that'd be good with this. I don't even need this. Yep, that's fast enough for it to be worth it, in my opinion. Do we have mana issues? Not really. Nice. I have a full salvo, though. You can also add laser beams to this. It's still the same thing. I can make the laser beams pop into those. Uh, no, that is not worth it. It reduces the speed. We could also have this. It's still a full salvo. How much can this have? Plus three. So I guess I can have one more thing. Which still makes everything cheap and we still shoot so many of all of these. I think this is the play. That's how we're gonna do this. And all of these are gonna be poison, not me. Yeah, I think that's gonna poison opponents a bit faster. Is it? Now let's stick to us having the poison. And then we have random shots of spells with this, and this is gonna cast my pets on its own. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's try and test out the thing we created. Hopefully it's gonna work out. It, it seems a bit crazy to me, but we are still a pets build. We have a bunch of pets, and then we also have on their own things happen. Sound effects here just fire on its own all the time. Uh, do I want to combine stuff? Or reroll? I would say we go a couple... I, I need a couple more spells, then I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's not forget that right now I have crazy mana region whenever something dies. So uh, now I just need to set up all my pets. And as long as I have pets all over the place, we should be good to go. I got the free key. Yep. Nice. We have this here whenever an enemy is killed, restore mana. We'll continue having an, uh, pets all over the place. So I have, you know, these lines that protect us all over the place. They do a lot of damage, man. These lines do a lot of damage. Nope, where do you think you're going? Are we winning yet? Did we win yet? Okay, a rare and another rare. We're gonna get... I mean, this is a thing I want to level up, so I'm gonna get this. And I would say Thunder Core, as I already have one. I already have summoned books, too. Did I even have an Electric Core? What was it? Yeah, I, I had one right here. So that's nice. 
Uh, wait a minute. You know what? I have tracking shots. You go here, man. All of these are now tracking. This is insanely better. And the pets, I would say, even more electric core. Uh, open this up. I have one key. Might as well use it. And off into uh, money. No, I have a lot of money and I don't have money's power, so I don't need more money. Let's go help. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I shouldn't actually use the key because we might find, you know, one of those good old rooms where, um... I'm, I'm trying to just summon stuff right now. Uh, we will get... I would... We will get at some point one of those nice rooms that provide us with... Uh, spell. A high-level spell. And we won, right? A lot of randomness is happening all over the place. We are getting all the three shots out of the madness we have created, which are also tracking now. And I'm still believing the poison should be invested in that, but not really. Mm, spells, obviously, is what I would say. We have so many spell slots. Now, now I would like to go to the um, create your spell type of guy. Is this a real one? First time seeing these lose their connections. I didn't know that was a thing. It would have been very useful if I had the thing that says you do more damage based on... Uh, not more damage, you have a 1% chance to kill any opponent. Because we have a very crazy attack speed build. But that's a bit irrelevant right now. Tentacles, tentacles. All over the place. All over the place. I'm not even moving here. I'm moving only once in a while. You know what, I want tentacles behind that guy. Or not. By the way, I can blink over here and just get all these... <laughs> like a whip attack. Another rare that I'm gonna reroll. And I do, I think I have AoE once. Once AoE, this leg wire also once. Also, oh, this is leveled up. I don't need more leg wires then. I'm gonna go AoE and I'm gonna go booby trap. And uh, we're gonna continue. This AoE can go, I guess, to Mr. Keegan. So it's a bit bigger. Mr. Key or whatever it's called. And the rest is history. These here are also pretty relevant. Yeah, I don't know why I have them in there. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Well, let's continue firing my pets. To the left. Oh, come on, man. To the left and to the right. And maybe to the top left. I can be in this corner here and it's gonna be hitting the whole screen. Although I'm not sure if being in the corner is the play. Or being in the middle and hitting the whole screen is the play. Boom over there. Nice. You know, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't even be ca casting these. Like, maybe I should... Maybe I need a, sp a cheaper spell to play. We won, right? Yeah. Another thing I can't open. Pretty sad. Money and a relic. Very nice. Let's hope I'm gonna get some kind of relic that heals us. Although, obviously, damage is the play always. Whoop. I got hit twice, thrice there. Pretty sad. And there is the thing I wanted to find previously, by the way. The key door that I didn't want to see happen. It happened. It's not a key door, it's a key zone, I guess, or something. It also stop moving, because the less I move, the more damage we do. That thing should die very fast. It actually survived for a while, okay. Those are dead too, nice. Man, I really enjoy my consistent DPS we have going on. Nice. And relic time. Plus one relic option, more zoning. Um, I mean, these are all very mediocre. I guess this. I guess this. Otherwise, even more relic options. Do I switch for a specific relic? I don't think so. I guess I'm gonna get something that is useful instead of not doing anything. And uh, yeah, we don't have keys, therefore we shall go. Uh, I could go for a shop, nah. You know what I would like to see? I would like to set up a line here for my editor. Not my editor, actually. My thumbnail guy. So that we have something here that I'm gonna showcase on the thumbnail. Yep. Look at this madness. That's it. This is most likely the thumbnail. Most likely. Let's go. If that's not the thumbnail, then I don't know what it is. Oops, stay away. All over the place. Am I recording, by the way? Yes, I am. As you see, when I alt have the game, it straight up pauses. It's a thing in this game, and we just got a bunch of mana. Continue gaining a bunch of mana. I don't know where my wand is. Do you know where my wand is? Said Dora. Look at this madness, man. Look how many things we have on the ground. 
Look how many pets I have on the ground. This is insane. Insane. Knockback, useless. Look at the opponent's life. You need three points of shield whenever you enter a door. I guess this. Slowly healing us three. Slowly healing us three. Is this a full heal? Uh, why would I... What is this? This is a healing spring. So why would I heal... 40, uh, 30 health? Yeah, 30 health. I'm missing about 30 health. Why would I heal 30 health instead of gaining 20 max health? 20 max health is obviously the play. I mean, the difference is that I would not have fought there, and here I will fight. So I, I see the difference. I see a why. Uh, I'm trying to have my tentacles behind those holes so that the lasers surround them. When opponents pop out of them. Ha <laughs> Completely counters everything. Whoop. So some lasers above us, some lasers below us. What do you guys think you're doing? What are you doing? 50-50 uh, on the max HP or less HP. Let's YOLO it. Whoop. Boom. Once again, I got more. And I got another portion of that. Permanently gain movement speed. Oh, boom. And I still have Petrified becoming yo. And uh, I also now got my one back. Gain a shield equal to last HP up to 50. Which we will keep in mind for the boss. Uh, max life against money. Money is irrelevant at this point in the game. Let's go max life. Fire the opponents. Fire the opponents again. Stay away a bit. Summon some lasers here. Summon some lasers there. This is one of those fights where it's going to be a bit above, a bit below. And a bit to the side. Charging up my laser. Get all of them set up. What are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? It's that guy on the very left. Nice. The opponents... Do my units only hit the one that is supposed to be getting damaged? I'm not sure. Whoa! I got hit twice. It seems like there is no damage immunity when doing this game at all. I don't have a die key for that. Unless the one thing that is on the ground is gonna give us a key. This here might have a key inside of it. Are we winning? Are we gonna win? It's the one on the very right. He's toast. Nice. Lose life. Maybe gain what I want. Which would be a key. But plus two options. That means plus three options. No, I got plus two options again, I guess. Okay, that's the boss. Let's see how this fight's gonna go. Whoop, it's the laser beam boss. Okay, this boss should theoretically destroy my pets. Uh, but you never know. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a fight between it destroying our pets and us destroying it. Ah, it's it's doing all the attacks that actually destroy my pets. So that's a bit unlike right now. Whoop. Put that behind. Nice. Here we go. Whoa, go to the left. Whoa, go to the right. That's gonna destroy all my pets, actually. Yep, I lost all my pets. Now I can go over here. Whip attack him. Whoa. Stop doing that, man. Whip attack. Laser beam attack. Stop attacking my pets. Do not go close to my pets. That's how you destroy my pets. You're too close to them. I'm not gonna be able to... Ah, get out of that. Nice. Get out of here again. Go, my pets. Shoot it to the left so they appear on the right side. Shoot it to the right so they appear to them on the left side. Boom! You're behind. They are behind you, man. Laser beam. Here we go. Whoop! I got hit for 20 damage right there. But I enjoy that. I need to not move, by the way. That increased my damage. I do enjoy the, this whole idea as to what you're supposed to do in this fight. Please die. Thank you. The fact that you're supposed to use the walls to loop around and avoid everything, that's cool. It's a lot better than the second boss fight where you're just supposed to avoid the dodges or avoid the anything that's coming in. Okay, this is a rare plus. I'm gonna take this. And this is a snack plus, which I'm using the snack anyway. So uh, we go snack plus on the snack. This just becomes slower because it's more expensive, I guess. I think the poison should be in this line at the end of the day. I don't think my pets are poisoning fast enough. At least not as fast as the snacks do. So I would say we throw away the 3.7 mana flame. And add a poison here. Over the poison on our pets. So these now all poison. And uh, let's go spell casting. Yeah, instantly spawn in a zone where opponents I get damaged just because I exist. Oh, let's get as many pets out as possible. Is there any chance that my pets are doing more poison, or at least were doing more poison? I don't think there's any chance that my pets are doing more poison than what 
the snakes do. Like, the snakes seem to be doing the poison goddess amount. Because they're a very fast acting weapon. Yeah, it's already at 9 poison the moment it, it happens. As long as I'm not moving, we got all the snakes chasing down opponents. It's the pet build. It's the pet build. Even snakes are pets. Yep. We got everything in order. I don't need to move, man. I need to do anything. Are we done yet? Yes, we're done. Just because explosions are happening doesn't mean something is happening. Uh, do I have an arcane explosion? I am using one. Do I have an offhand one? Doesn't seem like it. Do I have a lightning offhand? No, I'm gonna definitely take this. And... Do I have three water guns? No, I guess not a thunderstorm. I mean, I, th I, and I don't have any other. I don't have other water either. Well, these are all irrelevant. Do up off into the bit, because why not? Into the pit and off to money, which is useless. Oh, shoot. Oh, these are very hard opponents in general. want to stay away from these. Oh, almost got hit 50 times. Shoot these in corners. I think having my pets in corners is the main play here. As long as I have my pets in the four corners of the universe, as long as I'm not moving, because not moving gives us the snacks, and the snacks are the main DPS here that we're doing. I think as, as, as long as all of these are going well, well, I should have moved away from that. What do you want? Be here. This corner is nice and safe. Are we good? Yes, we are. Lose life for this. What's the potion? Heal 1 to 50. I'm yolling it. B. I rolled 7. Nice. Now go back to shielding up to 50 health. Okay, so I got a relic choice here. I really hope I'm gonna get money as power at this point, or missing health as damage, because I'm missing health and I also have a lot of money. <laughs> so the obvious the reasons. <laughs> Pretty much the, the main reasons why you would want those. <laughs> and I'm at 54 health. That way from you, monster. That thing takes a year to die. Oh, what? What? Whoa! I just lost 50,000 life with, within a couple of seconds. Yep, I got hit three or four times from an enemy. This is, this is bad, man. The fact that I'm low life. And I don't think we do that much damage to bosses either. So we will have issues in the close future. Pretty life is decent enough, though, to survive here. Another boss just spawned. Not a boss, though. It's just an enemy. Nice, you are toast. Yep, we won. Let's go. Five choices choose one movement speed 1.5 mana when you kill a chance to heal a bit too late on all of these distance mean to slow and movement speed i guess chance to heal just in case i heal before the boss fight hopefully uh i think because we're very close to ending the game i think i should go with reroll spells over getting another relic let's get my spells in order so let's go uh, this definitely goes okay first of all I would like these to not be casting all the time, but it's, it's okay. We're gonna play with screen shake. So, uh, you definitely go. What is this? Tracking shots. Mm, not really. Let's send this to. No, no. Okay, that's decent. No, no. Yes, that's decent. Laser beam doesn't stay. Tracking shots, nice. Tracking shots, level 3. Combo those. Nice, so return the tracking shot to the tracking shot zone. So now this is a lot better because tracking shot leveled up in general is insane. Uh, let's continue rolling now. I would like to roll the meteor for sure. No, no. Copy a thing. What could the thing be? Uh, first of all, let's reroll this. I would actually like to roll common so I get another pop leveled up. Ghostfire. I think Ghostfire... Yeah, I'm not using it anymore. Send Ghostfire off. No. Nope. Nope. Ah, yes, that's two levels on that. The rest I'm all using, though. Am I? Actually, I don't care about AoE on the... On Keegan. On Mr. Key. That's a bit irrelevant. Yes, this matters. This matters because I'm using it. This matters, obviously. What did I have here? I don't know what I had there. Spell power, I don't care. Oh, these also don't matter. Oh wait, I'm, I'm keeping stuff that's completely relevant. 
Let's roll the 40 mana. Uh, do I use the less energy? Yes, I do use that, so I would like to level that up. Uh, these are rare. These are common. These rares can roll into... I guess the book. Do I use this book? I'm not even using that book, man. No, no, no. Three times the projectiles. Uh, is that a thing? How many are these? There are like a lot. A lot, a lot. And theoretically, they sh it should be worth it. This multi-shot should be worth it most of the time. Otherwise, I can put it here, for example. It shoots slower. But it shoots a lot more. Like a lot more. Yeah, I think this is the play. We stick to electricity. Uh, poison is our thing. Nice. So let's continue. I don't care about the AOE. I'm not even using them. So let's roll the AOEs into the things we actually want. Nice. I got the battery leveled up. And I'm using the battery. It gains uh, even less mana cost and less mana, uh, less damage loss. That's nice. And uh, let's continue rolling AOE. Nope. Nope. Twice poison. That's good. Okay, twice poison is good. Auto casting twice is not gonna be needed. No, come on. Nice. So we're gonna go with more splits. So now I shoot this and it splits. Boom. You're crazy, obviously. Uh, these are all rare, man. That's extremely unlucky. I guess we're not gonna level up our cane explosion. That's because I want to level up the pets if I can. Or or the cord if possible. And the calls. No, no, it's about to break. About to break. And it broke. It's okay. Didn't really lose that much. Um uh, I still don't have money as power, so. I would say we go with shopping now. Let's also break everything we have here. Nice. And let's go on. And a relic is next. So, key for sure. And shielding for three. I'm gonna try to get keys. Thunder core. Don't we already have two? Yeah, we already have two. I'm gonna buy another one. Slow points down. Another Mr. Ken tentacle. That's also nice. What is this? I got another respawn tentacle on kill though, right? Post sword. Uh, charge 90 points for every enemy killed with this wand. 16 mana. Is this better than this one I have? Uh, how many slots? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This also has 8 because the moment I buy it, it's going to get another slot. So this is 19 mana regen. Uh, without this, it is 16 mana regen. Which means it's less than this thing. Because this thing does not show the positive mana regen I have. So this is more mana regen. More, better cooldown. Definitely better cooldown. And also spawns these for free. On kill, it spawns even more Mr. Key's heads. So I think the transition is guaranteed. Obviously these two are gonna switch too. So I would say we pick this up. Okay, you see it literally is equipping the exact same set. I didn't lose a single spell. And then this one here. Or this one to be honest. Yeah, this one here. The worn one stone. That's gonna become... Excuse me, equip this again. Equip this. Uh, I need to throw this away for a second, stupid thing. Equip, and now we'll go back to this. Thank you. So, uh, nice. Can I have this summoned twice? Is this gonna now summon these twice? Actually, I don't need you to test it. I can test it on my own. Yeah, it summons two different one, right? Will I have more and more and more? Two more. Come on, let's go. Two more. By the way, let's not take 50 years. Let's just do this. Uh, no, I have additively five. Yeah, that's pretty sad, but it's okay. So additively 5 is not as crazy as it would have been, so you don't are not needed. Let's also break these just in case. Nice, so uh, what else is there? Poison, I would like to, these to also poison. Switch these. And I would these to actually also have a super lightning chance. And I would these also like to be connected with my cords. Right, so we got this lined up. 
And I would say damage on Keen Head plus this. So it's even more damage. And uh, now I need to reroll, but rerolling is not a thing. Nothing is barely even visible here. Uh, let's reroll. We got a box for mana. Or just let's reroll. That's useless. 11 coins for a double keys is okay. Let's roll again. I mean, healing is definitely a thing. 3 coins for 10 health. Roll them. I got another key. Key. Nice. I buy this. So I have. I need one more key, one more tentacle hand. These three are needed once more. This is a common I'm gonna reroll into one of these three. And then these are completely useless. And I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna obviously go relics. With 30 coins, I can reroll enough times. I'm gonna get more key coins from killing opponents anyway, so. Not like I need anything. Let's go. Okay, someone. Whoop, rup, boom. Rup, boom. Rup, boom. I, I fixed my mana issues. Uh, yeah, the, this is the plus wand I got. Definitely huge difference. Definitely huge difference. Is even visible? Is even anything visible anymore? Okay. Are we done yet? Are we done yet? <laughs> I'm completely busted. Uh, no. Heal slowly. When standing still, reduce casting turbo, cooldown, scatter. Casting in turbo, cooldown, and scatter. I mean, I'm standing still most of the time. When low life, you start healing. Chance to gain money. When low life, you start healing. That's nice. Uh, this is also nice. 60% cooldown and casting in turbo. Seems good. Hmm. Up to 60%. I, I don't think I want this, though. I think I want this. Or this, in case the final boss adds 50,000 crystals. Let's go with this. 25 healing, a regen, a regen at 25 health. That might save us. If I ever go down to 5 health, it might save us. I hope I'm gonna find another witches then, by the way. Because as of this moment, that does not feel to be the case. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, we're safe. I'm not even moving, by the way. Oh, I, I, I'm moving a bit. That thing just killed all my summons. And that was that. I would like my snacks to also be poisonous. That's done. We're done. <laughs> we are done. It's insane what's happening here, man. Do I have more poison? I have triple poison. Everything is poisoning other than my snacks. Uh, tracking shots. That's a rare I can reroll once again. And Arcane Explosion is here again. I mean, at this point, it's a bit too late. Uh, this is also a bit too late. I'm gonna go these two. I'm gonna reroll rares into rares. If I can do that. Let's go. What is this? A shop. Nice. No, nope, that's money. That's useless. And this is the final area, so we're done. Uh, when you see only one door instead of two doors plus a lock thing. That is it. Uh, this is a very hard fight. I'm losing. I'm dying. I'm healing too, by the way. I am also dying. I'm, I'm getting four... The poison has become crazy. I just got hit for four poison per second. Yeah, four poison per second. Why? Let's go money. I don't have the money as power. This is the final boss. Let's obviously go over here and hope for the best. The curse. Lose one coin when taking damage. Reduce damage taken by 25%. This is obviously godlike. I'm gonna take that. And this is... All damage I'm sent. All damage received 70%. Okay. Unable to read the label on doors. Both of these are useless. I I'm gonna get both of these. The curses are not irrelevant. So this is I take 25% as damage. I do 100% more damage and take 170 more. I'm, I'm taking both of these. The curses are irrelevant. Both of them. Uh, get shield. Equal to amount of health missing. I'm gonna just activate that. The moment this fight starts. I should act... Right now actually. Straight up. Boom. Done. That's it. Let's go with I can petrify myself for 60 seconds and be immune to everything. I'm gonna use that on the final boss. I have an idea as to what we're doing. Go. Go again. Go again. It just spawned a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's not forget I'm doing double damage right now. Okay. I would like to not be cursed like crazy, if possible. Specifically, it made me do reverse direction. The boss is dead almost. It's damage immune right now, but the moment it comes down, it should die. I've set up so many things here. Come on, man. Stop your... It's transitioning again. Just, just go down. Here we go. And you're dead. Wow. Wow. We might have a chance of killing the doggo. Let's go. I, I think we have a chance to kill the doggo. The super final boss, that is. Let's see. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. With the 60 second of immunity, 
I cannot read doors, we know that. Uh, this is most of the time a shop, and this is most of the time money. I got full healing. That's nice. Uh, once again, I go towards the right. Okay, so I set up the tentacles behind him. Like here. And more. Boom. Again, more. Boom. Again, more. Boom. More. Boom. And I go behind him now. And become damage immune. Drink the potion. I drank the potion. I'm, I'm petrified. Okay, and now we hope he dies. And now we hope he dies. Hold the move. I have 53 damage here. He is getting damaged. If these tentacles do enough, we will win. Uh, the tentacles are gone. So uh, now I hope that the snacks do enough. I'm not seeing us do 43 damage. Snacks, we got this, man. Snacks, we got this. Uh, if the snacks run out, we're dead. I'm seeing the snacks run out. Could I do this? Can I do this? No, that's not gonna be enough. Yeah, we're most likely gonna die. I'm gonna go back to what I had, and we're most likely gonna die here. I, I tried my best. The summons run out of time. We're not surviving this. If I had a second one of these, maybe. We're guaranteed not surviving this. Go. Whoa, boom, whoa. Tank my pets. Tank my pets. Tank my pets. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, this was going well. I got like 40% of that guy. Really well. This went really, really, really well. I'm super about, happy about that. Uh, if I had twice the immunity, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure though. And one again though. Still. Uh, do I want to unlock the new spells? Spellbreaker and Boomerang. Otherwise, I could also maybe wait for this thing. Right? It, because I'm running out of these. These are very useless right now. I don't care about more starting money or more backpack slots. Uh, I can obviously take these back, but the these crystals are useless right now. The other choice is to maybe level up how many potions I can have, maybe reroll more times the shop. This is not really that useful. Okay, I would say all of these are not really that useful. Potions, carrying more potions is good, but I would say let's actually keep money to be able to unlock this uh, over just having access to more spells. I hope that's nice. Uh, do I unlock skins? Have I gotten any of these? No, we're still a uh, Chad over here. We're still a uh, Ora 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 boy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.